Nephi loved the scriptures, especially the words of Isaiah, a prophet that lived about a hundred years before him. Nephi said that he delighted in the words of Isaiah. One of the things that Isaiah taught was how Satan makes good things appear bad, or bad things appear good. Kind of confusing, right? To help us with this idea, let's take a peek at our new friend, Jeff. Jeff was practicing for his seventh grade tryouts, which are in a week. He loved basketball, but he was a bit small for his grade. Nobody seemed to notice him. A lot of the kids teased Jeff about his height. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. More than anything in the world, Jeff wanted to be taller, especially for basketball tryouts. One day while doing his homework, an ad popped up. He knew he shouldn't click on it. But it was an ad for a cream that would make you taller. Giraffe Grogu. How do those ads know what we're thinking? Jeff is thrilled about this and thinks about growing 10 feet taller and dunking the ball in tryouts. Then they'll notice him for sure. Don't do it, Jeff. It's too good to be true. It came. He put on the cream and followed the instructions. Each day he was excited to mark off his height. But then his head started to itch and his arms, oh no. His whole body started to itch. He wasn't growing, but his hair was. The next day he went to school. It was a day of tryouts. The kids laughed. What had been a great idea was in fact a horrible one. Tryouts didn't go well. He didn't even get to touch the ball. Jeff was miserable. He was sure that the goo would solve all of his problems. The ad had promised to make him taller. Just like Jeff, we are presented with things that seem too good to be true. That is how Satan works. He wants to trick us with lies, deceit, or even giraffe goo. He gets us to focus on things that don't matter or don't work. Even though Jeff didn't make the team, he did learn something. Right, Jeff? Jeff? <laughs> Next time, be watchful for things that appear to be good, but under the surface, they can cause us harm and damage our spirit. <laughs> Jesus helps us to know between good and evil through the spirit. Jeff knew he shouldn't click on the ad. If we listen closely, the spirit will guide us. Oh, and Jeff, hmm? hang in there. Data shows that most growth spurts happen in the summer between seventh <laughs> and eighth grade. Nephi sure must have been grateful for this lesson he learned from Isaiah. He took the time to chisel it down into his own plates. And that was a lot of work. Thanks, Nephi. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Catch you next week.